So with this video, I'm going to present my argument of why Trump lost the election in a second using a secondary method but using the same exact verses that I used in my first argument in my primary argument of why he lost the election why God did not allow him to become president and this this argument is for the Trump supporters understand that <laughs> So, in science and in math, you want to do something which is called, you want to qualify and quantify a problem and solution. And this is the same idea by using the same two verses, chapters and verses, from my first argument with my second argument, and this qualifies and quantify this this argument, which basically, in the sense, proves it tests the problem and solution with accuracy, to be accurate. Understand that. And for scientists and mathematicians, they would understand this concept. So let me present it this way. Satan has been around much longer and knows the word and knows the truth of the word, but also understand that he will try to twist the word and use the word against Christians. So if Satan saw Trump as a threat, he would send his false prophets, and, and that's very clearly stated, there would be false prophets. So he would want to send his false prophets, his own prophets, to intercede in the election, you know, they claim that Russia and China and different ones uh, played a role in the elections. Let's say that the false prophets were the cause of Trump lose, losing the election, and these are the two scriptures that prove that. So what Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 30 states, that God is against the prophets that steal prophecy from each other, that basically spin the same narrative. So see that the Trump prophets did exactly this. Ergo, sabotaging Trump's election by making God be against them and their prophecy of Trump, Trump's return. So see also 2331, the very next verse, God is against the prophets that use their tongue and say, saith the Lord. Also see what all these Trump prophets were doing. And these are long-term ministers of God, people. So they know these two scriptures. So if Satan wanted to ensure that Trump would be would not be elected, do you think he may have sent his own prophets to prophesy of Trump and to to do these exact things while they were prophesying Trump's re-election to ensure that God was against this, to make you see God, uh, Trump, as the anointed Savior that will return. So see that it wasn't China or Russia that sabotaged the election. It was his own prophets. And these are men of God. They know the scripture. They know that what they did was exactly against what God is about. They expressly warned, God is against the prophets that steal prophecy from one another, which is spinning the same narrative, exactly what Hank Kuhnerman, Robin Bullock, Timothy Dixon, Kent Christmas, and many of these others did. So here we go again with just further proof using the exact same scriptures I used in my previous argument in a secondary argument for the Trump supporters to see that these are the ones that sabotage the election, people, the false prophets, by doing exactly what the scriptures warned not to do, that God is against the prophets 
that spin the same narrative, and God is against the prophets that use their tongue, their mouths, and say, saith the Lord, exactly what they all were doing, to make God be against them and their prophecy, exactly what it says about Trump's return to the White House. So, do you really think these were Trump's prophets, or do you think they were Satan's false prophets? There's your proof, people. It's in the very word of God that you cannot argue against. The truth of the word about the false prophets that would go against the word of God. Prophesying Trump the Savior will return, and this is why I knew he would not become president again, because they did, they behaved in ways that were Keeping, we're going to keep him from be, being reelected. So see that it was y'all's false prophets that y'all all glorified and praised. You see how the enemy can infiltrate and just by a little bit of deceit can do the work of Satan, do Satan's bidding. So see through the lies of the false prophets see what they did people they sabotaged the election it wasn't it wasn't china it wasn't russia it was them going against the very word of god to make god remove trump from office and there is your scripture proof and biblical truth showing this, and they can't argue that they didn't know any better because these are all long-time ministers of God. So they know what the Bible says. If I know what it says, and many others do, they know what it says too. Be aware of the false prophets. Realize what they did. They're the ones responsible for uh, Trump not returning to the office. It wasn't China or Russia. It was them with their own mouths that set God against Trump's return. Stay in the word, people. You can learn something. You'll learn how to identify false prophets easy if you quit following them and just read your Bible. God bless.